Chapter 3 Earth, Sun and Moon You will learn Earth and its structure The Sun, Solar System The Moon, Surface of the Moon Phases of the Moon Landing on the Moon, Eclipses The Earth The Earth is different from all the other planets. The Earth is made up of land, water and air. It is the only planet on which water exists. Nearly 71% of it is water and rest is land. A layer of air, called the atmosphere, surrounds the earth. The shape of the earth is just like an orange. The earth is round and slightly flattened at the poles. It appears flat to us because we see only a part of it. Structure of the earth the earth is composed of three layers. The outer layer of the earth is called crust. It is made of hard rocks and has land and water. All living things are found on this layer. The inner layers of earth are the mantle. They are not as hard as crust. These are thick molten rocky layer just below the crust. The innermost layer is core. It is a solid ball, mostly made up of iron. It is hotter and is further divided into two parts, outer and inner core. The Sun The Sun is a big ball of very hot gases. The temperature of the Sun is very high. The corona is a thin layer of atmosphere around the Sun. The diameter of the Sun is approximately 13,92,000 kilometers. The Sun is huge, which could fit more thousands of planet Earths inside it. It appears small because it is far from us. The Sun is the closest star to Earth. It is called a yellow dwarf star and is a medium-sized star because the other stars are too big as compared to Sun. The Sun is very important to us. It gives us light and heat. The light from the sun heats the earth and makes life possible. Solar System The solar system is made up of the sun, eight planets, together with their satellites and other smaller bodies that orbit the sun. There are many other smaller celestial bodies apart from the planets and the satellites that revolve around the sun. They are comets and asteroids. The eight planets according to their distances from the Sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The planets get their names after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. The planet Pluto is considered the dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union in August 2006. Do you know? The Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei in 1610 was the first to gaze at Saturn through a telescope. Do you know? The most well-known comet is the Halley's Comet. It is also known as a periodic comet because it takes less than 200 years to orbit the Sun. It can be seen with the naked eye from Earth every 75 to 76 years. The Moon Look at the clear sky at night. You can see the twinkling stars and the brightly shining moon. The moon does not have its own light. It reflects the light of the sun that falls on it. There are small heavenly bodies called satellites that revolve around the planets. Moon is the natural satellite revolving round the earth. The radius of the moon is 1,738 kilometers, which is approximately one quarter of the size of the Earth. It moves around the Earth in an elliptical orbit. Moon has a gravitational force, which is much weaker than the gravitational force of Earth. This is the reason that the moon is much smaller in size than the Earth. A person on the moon weighs about one-sixth of what he weighs on Earth. Do you know? 
the distance of the moon from the earth varies between 3 lakh 56000 kilometers to 4 lakh 7000 kilometers the surface of the moon the surface of the moon is full of mountains valleys and craters craters are formed when the hard and solid bodies called meteorites drop on the surface of the moon there is no atmosphere and no sound can be heard on it the surface of the moon does not change due to the absence of air and water phases of the moon the moon appears bright due to the reflection of sunlight thus only half of the moon facing towards the sun is illuminated as the moon orbits round the earth the shape of the moon seems to change which is referred as phases the shape of illuminated part of the moon varies from a full moon to a new moon the phase of the moon when it is not visible from earth is called new moon this is because the side of the moon facing the earth does not get sunlight when earth is in between the sun and moon the moon appears fully illuminated as a whole disk and is called the full moon waxing as the moon is gaining light and expanding in illumination we use the term waxing waning as the moon is losing light and decreasing in illumination we use the term waning phases of the moon different names are given for the different phases of the moon new moon waxing crescent waxing first quarter waxing gibbous full moon waning gibbous last quarter waning crescent new moon do you know in india many festivals are related to the appearance of moon for example shivratri is celebrated a day before new moon holi buddha purnima guru purnima are celebrated on full moon diwali is celebrated on new moon day festival of eid also depends on the appearance of moon landing on the moon landing on moon was one of the greatest accomplishments of man it is the only heavenly body visited by humans astronaut neil armstrong was the first person to land on the moon on july 20th 1969 by the american spacecraft apollo 11 He was followed by Edwin Aldrin along with a third astronaut Michael Collins. Commander Neil Armstrong said the historic words, "One small step for man and one giant leap for mankind." People from all over the world watched live television coverage as Neil Armstrong climbed down the ladder to the surface of the moon. It was one of the most historic events. The moon is the only heavenly body from which samples of rocks have been returned to earth. No life on the moon. There is no air or water on the moon, so there is no life. The side facing the sun is too hot and the side away from the sun is too cold for life to exist on moon. No sound can be heard on the moon as there is no air. Gravity on the moon is one sixth of the gravity on the Earth. Thus, one can lift heavy objects easily on the moon. Size of the moon is nearly one fourth of the Earth. Eclipses. Earth orbits the sun while the moon revolves around the Earth. During this revolution, the Earth, sun, and moon form a straight line. Sometimes the Earth comes between the moon and the sun. and at other times the moon comes between the sun and the earth this is when an eclipse occurs and the heavenly body casts a shadow which hides the other heavenly body from the sun there are two types of eclipses solar and lunar eclipse lunar eclipse an eclipse of the moon is called the lunar eclipse it occurs when the earth comes between the sun and the moon 
the shadow of the earth falls on the moon and it is called the lunar eclipse it occurs only on full moon day and at night lunar eclipse is of two types total lunar eclipse and partial lunar eclipse during a total lunar eclipse the moon cannot be seen at all during a partial lunar eclipse the sun earth and moon are not perfectly aligned in a straight line only a part of the moon can be seen solar eclipse an eclipse of sun is called solar eclipse solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes between the sun and the earth in a straight line the shadow of the moon falls on the earth people living in this part of the earth cannot see the sun a solar eclipse occurs during the daytime and on new moon day the sun rays are very strong and viewing the solar eclipse directly can damage our eyes solar eclipse is also of two types total solar eclipse and partial solar eclipse when the sun is completely hidden due to the shadow of the moon it is a total solar eclipse when only a part of the sun is hidden by the shadow of the moon it is partial solar eclipse do you know you should never see the solar eclipse with naked eyes because it may harm your eyes we need special eclipse glasses to see the solar eclipse let us revise the earth is made up of land water and air a layer of air called the atmosphere surrounds the earth the earth is composed of three layers the solar system is made up of the sun eight planets together with their satellites the moon does not have its own light it reflects the light of the sun that falls on it eclipses occur when the earth the sun and the moon form a straight line